Welcome to down by the Bay Manila. Hey guys, ready to walk down this sidewalk? Whoa! Oh, what a great sidewalk. Oh, don't worry. Can we, I guess right here? Oh, is this the embassy? I think we can walk here. Oh, oh, yeah. Hi, I don't know where that cut off, but that tree blocked us off and then a freaking huge truck hit a their horn and it blew out our eardrums. So loud. I like how the, the sidewalk, you get blocked up and then you're supposed to go walk on this crazy highway. <laughs> yeah, this is insane. This is the epic sidewalks of Manila. Thank you very much. Walking, 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 always walking around. And this is Dolomite Beach. A lot of people told us, don't go there. There's nothing to see. But also, it's a marvel because apparently this place was just a trash heap. It was basically a landfill next to the ocean. Let's see if we can find a picture. I'll be curious to see what a picture is. I think we have seen one before, but I want to insert another picture. Boom. And they apparently, there's a big effort, I think under the last administration, to clean this beach up. And Did they like import any like sand or anything to cover? Or? I mean, maybe. Like, I don't know. It's not sand. No, it's like little like pebbles. Yeah. It's like an Italian beach. Those are a lot of pebbles like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least in the Amalfi Coast, this, this is what Italy beaches are like. A little darker, but I mean, if this place was, the video we saw, I think we watched it on a reaction channel, Trifate Geo, and uh, it was just like <laughs> garbage down the street. And then they did a big effort, cleaned it all up. And it seems like every Thursday they are closed. And I'm assuming that's to clean it. And Being the, where the Philippines is located, a lot of stuff from the Pacific Garbage Patch will wash up here. Yeah. I don't know, and specifically on Manila side, but on the other side for sure. I mean, they're definitely, it's not swimmable yet, apparently. They're working on making it swimmable. I don't know what goes into that to make it swimmable, whether it's removing like some like glass and stuff from the beach, so they don't want people to get absolutely destroyed or what, but. It seems to be, it's like, a, I love the view with the buildings and the palm trees, and it seems like they're, gonna make this into some sort of bay walk and clean this up this walking area up a little bit which would be very cool they definitely it's definitely like a fancier area they have a, nice, a lot of nice buildings hotels this might rub a few people's feathers the wrong way yeah. just to even mention that there's pollution in the philippines and then people will instantly assume oh why are you even here go back to your own country we love this country we're just pointing out <laughs> one thing so if you if you want to improve the country you should have allow people who come and visit the country who have been to many other countries to say hey this thing could be better and we already we uh, we appreciated the effort like yeah. like we said the, the amount of garbage that was here that was cleaned up that's so cool if, if they're gonna if get, get angry they're gonna get angry <laughs> if we get a fracking comment saying um well in america they have uh, pollution too uh that's you missed the point thank you <laughs> well it seems like they're uh, they're constructing some stuff over here yeah hopefully we can get out right here uh, it's like blocked off. Can you block out? How do we get out? Really? Can we just jump the fence? Okay, uh, another criticism. There should be an exit on both sides, not just the way far down. Why is this even blocked off? Yeah, it's a cool walk. I, I don't think it's pointless to come here. I think it's a, a nice little lesson to learn. Be like, wow, it's possible to clean up places. And it's got some cool views on the side too, so I don't think it's pointless to come here. It, but it's no Boracay. I wouldn't. I would stop here if you're on your way to something like we are. Yeah. I don't think I'd come here specifically. I think you can maybe spend like five or six hours here. No, I'm just kidding. Like five minutes max, probably. So, Dolomite Beach. The further we have to walk back and see no exits, the more uh, irritating it is that there is not a second exit at the other end of the beach that corrects the point of walking down the beach. I guess everyone just stands right there and looks at the boat. I guess. So, uh, correction, you need two minutes here. Uh, one minute to walk down to the end towards the water, and then one minute to walk out. Because you don't need to walk down there. Nope, apparently not. Dolomite Beach. Hey everybody, it's Trifate from the other side of this fence. Complaints aside, we got some epic stuff after this. Epic stuff! Uh, are you talking about the zoo? Ah! That was the most uh, dehydrated whatever screech I've ever heard. Kind of hurt my throat. <laughs> my throat hurts right now. I need water. water. I need water. 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 Thank you. Nice to meet you. Oh, wow. oh it was all for that. It was oh, all for the yeah. show. 
it was all friendly and he then he talked to us for like five minutes all friendly and then it was come on get in and we we're like nice to meet you uh, uh. oh they're all scammers the smile just went off the page yep I don't know if he would have gotten us though. We said we've been here for seven months. So. Yeah, yeah, he should have known. The scammers, they're friendly until you say no. Then they're like, yeah, yeah. It's an interesting looking building that's being constructed. That is an interesting one. We're still walking. Well, we were gonna transition to the, into the zoo and then that guy popped up and he wanted a picture with us. So I was like, oh, you can say hi to the vlog. And then uh, as soon as we turned it on, he was like, get in, get in, get in. And we're like, no. And he's like, eh. Uh, people always say in the comments, Manila is the place for the scammers. Yep, yep. And it definitely is. Every time we come downtown, it's scam central. We don't ever really get hounded or like hustled. People approaching us for selling things too much in Quezon City. No. But here, they just target. Can I get to, can I get to see them slippery? That seems unnecessary, sir. I don't think it's gonna move the traffic any faster. <laughs> what I was saying though is we're gonna get to see some slithery snake boys. <laughs> some slithery snake boys, some, some, uh, I don't know what we'd see. There, hopefully there's some cool stuff. I also there's some big it's, ones. It's newly renovated. I wanna see a hippopotamus. I wanna see a rhinoceros. I wanna see an elephant. <gasps> <laughs> My throat is so dry. <laughs> oh, well, we're, I think, walking along the zoo right now. I think the parking uh, lot's you up can't here. Tell by this terrifying. That animal. is terrifying. My God. I hope that thing's not inside. I hope not. I uh, just looked. We've walked almost 24,000 steps already today. Almost 11 miles. It's one almost already one of our most walking days since we've left um, the U.S. So uh, it's a big walker day today. Well, we did. Well, we were, we're really saving up for this food. Uh, part in one of our next videos. Hopefully it'll taste cracking good. I hope so. My gosh. Whoa, look at that. Crocker. Oh. Croc? I didn't bring Mr. Crocker. I'm so sorry. I'm a failure. No. When my wish has come true. There's a fragging elephant right off the bat. Fragging elephant. That's what I wanted to see. This is already one million times better than the Saigon Zoo. I hate to say it, but we have a gripe to start. Uh, it took us 20 minutes to buy a ticket. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it already. Hippo, lion. It def this definitely seems newly renovated. For this sure. is super nice. This is really nice. This is nicer than a Minnesota Zoo. It's not as big, but it's nicer. I haven't been in the Minnesota Zoo in like uh, eight years probably. I think I went there in high school. And we didn't even, we could only go indoors because it was winter. Those ones are pretty old, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I remember going to it when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, they don't have the hippos yet? Oh! Oh! Epic! Hey, Bucko! How you doing? He's moving pretty quick. Tortoises need space. You know what they say about the tortoise and the hare? Master Ugwe? Go on now, it is your journey to finish. Are you eating a peach from the tree of eternal knowledge? What the frack? Fracking <gasps> Gort and Quandale. Gort and Quandale? Oh my gosh, they have Clappy Blappies here. There's clappy Blappy right There's there. Clappy. This zoo is so epic. I like this already. I've never seen a Clappy Blappy in real life. They made Gort and Quandale from the Urban Rescue Ranch in real life? Holy, I don't think I've ever seen a Clappy Blappy in real life. I don't think I have either. It's like surreal almost. We see them in his videos yeah. so much. It feels like I know them because I watched them eat in those videos and now... That is the epic Zoomobile. Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh, hey, why can't we just go in there and play with them? <laughs> I want to just walk in and just have them and just stand there. Don't move. And then you try and like touch it and it kind of like moves to the side a little bit, but then it just still just stands there. Fracking Clappy Blappies. Oh my. Clappy Blappies. The clappy Blappies. Look at that booty. Wow. That is tasteful. Thank you, Gort and Quandale. Are you a capybara named Gort and Quandale? I don't think so. Probably not. But based off our analytics, there's a 100% chance you're a human. Really? You know what humans like to do? No. Sleep. Sleep?
basically every human ever has had to sleep. Sleep is one of the most important things you can get in your day. Okay. And there's many factors that could be affecting it. Such as outside light. <laughs> or even indoor light. <laughs> and the best way to block out all that light is with a sleep mask. Today we're going to be showing you the Manta Sleep Sleep Mask. One of the best sleep masks you can get. I can't see a fracking thing. Not only does this sleep mask block out all the light to where he can't even see where the frack I am, I gotta imagine it's quite comfortable in there, isn't it? It's pretty dang comfortable. With this, you can sleep in utter peace. It comes with adjustable foam cushions and also replacement devices. You might be wondering why these look so different and that's because they're cooling. It feels like I'm in the Arctic. These pads provide a cool feeling to the eyeball. So if you're someone who gets really hot when you sleep, this will definitely help you. So although this isn't great for capybaras, it'll be great for you because you're a human. You can order yours today in the link in the description or you can visit their website and use code TRIFATE for 10% off. Sleep like a mantis. I don't know if that's their slogan. <laughs> There's an apex predator over here. Oh, he's sleep. Oh, there's two of them in there. There's a white one and a orange one. White? Aren't the white tigers super rare? I think so, but like every zoo happens to have one. The Bengal tiger. We, if we would have went to West Bengal in India, we would have got to mold them. Probably. Tigers. This zoo is really nice. I like it. I'm very happy. You can actually get pretty, like, it's a good view of them, actually. Yeah. Like that one, you get close to it. One of the clappy blappies was right up next to the glass. And I like the atmosphere. It's very fancy. I like zoos. Not only is it the cassowary, but it's the double waddled cassowary. Oh my gosh, look at those double waddles. Great womp! This one just says tiger. Tigress. <gasps> Tigress. Master Ugwe. Oh, I'm Jack Black. Hey, what the frack? That's not a tiger. That's not what tigress looks like. Guys, if we see animals, we're either going to reference Kung Fu Panda, Ice Age, or Madagascar. Or Shrek sometimes. Holy no, they put the Philippine deer um, and a zebra in the same thing? And an ostrich? <laughs> What's the ostrich's name? I don't know. Is it Homelander? Yes, it is Homelander. Homelander! Wow. Zebra. Where in the world can you see a Philippine deer and a zebra eating out of the same thing? I can imagine not many zoos have a Philippine deer. I Maybe like think a, so. an Australian zoo would. Look at those little fraggers. I wonder if uh, Philippines has any problems with like deer jumping in front of cars. Let us know if that happens. Uh, if you guys Oh! He's looking at you. Homelander? Is that you? The dance thing? The where they flap their wings back and forth. You should go try to uh, feel his neck <laughs> like they do. In... I um, think definitely wouldn't murk you. But uh, deer, if you were wondering what he means by jumping in front of cars, back in the in the old days uh, when we did reaction videos, I'd come over to Tyler's house at uh, very late at night, and yes. then I'd drive home at like 3 a.m. on like the empty highways of Minnesota. And one time there's a massive deer in the middle of the road. I saw it last second, just ran right into it and I absolutely destroyed my car and it was total. Did you kill a deer you sick mofo? I, I don't know what he was thinking. There's a road there. You're not supposed to stand in the middle you of the road. sick mofo. There's an African lion. Wow! A giraffe. There's a picture of a giraffe somewhere too. Where the frack is the giraffe? Where's the giraffe? Where? Where's the giraffe? This view gets a 0 out of 10. No giraffe. -er. Oh! He's just staring at me. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he wants to murder you and me and eat us. Look at him, he is not taking his eyes off us. Oh, he just did. He's like, he looks more delicious. Is that, uh, oh, he wants to eat that guy now. I can't think of his name, Madagascar. Alex? Alex. Is that Alex? Alex the Lion! <laughs> I just watched Madagascar recently, so I got this ready. Alex the Lion! Roar! 
hopefully you guys know what Madagascar is, <laughs> then you'll understand what we were doing there. If you don't know, I always oh, looking at us again. He yeah, really think, wants to murder. I, I think we were speaking his language. Roar! Oh, <laughs> wait, just run, just run, like a long, and see what he does. He just watches. He's very confused. He really wants to kill you. His testicles are out. Oh, disgusting. YouTube, don't take down this video. It's educational. We promise we do your research, our research. Here we go. Here's how we can make it educational. Description. Lions have relatively short legged, long, muscular bodies and large heads. The that guy does not have games. Sometimes extends to the shoulders and belly. All right, you gotta read. You have to walk out behind this tree and then give me the lion information. Lions have manes that are hair, full of hair, and it stretches from there on their neck, and they have testicles that sometimes okay, that's stick a out. Good. Oh, there's a bird with some blood on it. Wow. Philippines endemic. Oh, pandemic. Let's go. What's the pandemic Philippines? What does that mean? The heck they started a pandemic here? Oh my gosh, it wasn't China that started COVID, it was the Philippines. Now this video will be uh, demonetized for COVID uh, information. It's not misinformation, it's a joke. Oh, we saw one of those at the it was, Wildlife Center. It, it was, was a brown mini kite. Oh, where the frack is it? Frack. Bra me. Bra. Bra. Don't feed the animals, fracker. Oh, hey, buckarooner. Oh my gosh, he flipped his head all the way around. Run, 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 bruh, bruh. Uh, we actually did some research beforehand, so we know what's in this place. So they have the Pied Imperial Dragon, the white colored dove, yep. the white beard, beard brown fruit dove, yep. the green Imperial Pigeon. That one. The, the Nicobar Pigeon. That one. The one. This that one. Pigeon, the bleeding heart pigeon, that one. Dove. And that's that one. Fantastic. So, Good you're job. welcome for doing our research. We actually did it this time. Birds! That is scary. Why are birds always so weird looking? Oh gosh, it does not like this. Why doesn't he have a rainbow beak? That's how I always knew they were. Oh, he's looking at me. Hey, Buckaroona, why don't you have a rainbow beak like Toucan Sam? And why aren't you giving me some Franken cereal? Fruit Loops, welcome to Animal Noises with Isaac. You're gonna be doing your best representation of each of these birds. Are you ready? And I'll right. rank it on a scale of one to 10. And if you get a total score of more than 100. I get a cupcake? You get a cupcake. All right, here we go. This bird. One out of 10. This bird. Six out of 10. This bird. Hey, it's me too bad, Sam. I got some fruit loops for you. 12 out of 10. This one. Three out of 10. This one. It's not an owl, zero out of ten. <laughs> this one? Hey. 16 out of 10. This one? Me, me. 11 out of 10. This one? I still got some fruit loops for you if you want some. 50 out of 10. <laughs> cupcake time. Oh. Doing cupcake dance this is what happens when I get a cupcake. There's a creature lurking in this swamp. These things are just all over the place. I believe they're actually cameras. Holy nuts. That's a big face. Look at his eye. Those teeth can shred through you even though they're not that sharp. The force of them. They got the bite force. Look at this fracker. Yikes, I do not want to ever see those when we're hiking in the middle of a swamp. A fracking dinosaur, literally. It is, look at those teeth. You'd like, if you like push on a scale, you could like knock on them how hard it is. This is really close. It is. I like that this this zoo you can get so close to the animals. Hopefully it's up to safety code. Yeah, it just breaks through and starts shredding mm -hmm. people. Wow, that's creepy. He looks really thick daddy boy, this boy. Thick daddy alert. Thick daddy. Hey, turtles. That is a lot. Wow. Rings. Fantastic. The ring? <gasps> oh, it's I don't the Samara. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to another Spot the Animal. Where's the animal? I'll give you two more seconds. Oh, you failed. What the crap are you doing? It's in the hole, obviously. Right there. Come on. Spot the animal. Oh, guess what? You guys can't spot it because you can't even spot the other one. 
He looks like he wants to get out very bad. Does he have like a little, his nose is kind of dirty. Hey, Buckaroo! Oh, he just wants to be my friend. My friend. He wants to be my friend. All around me are familiar faces. I like how some people predicted when we said welcome to the Himalayas like twice. Someone was like, I bet you that'll be in the next few vlogs. <laughs> And it was, and that just reminded me because we've said that all around me are familiar faces like 10 times in these vlogs. We walking. have stretches of memes. Hello, sir. You are very small. I can take this crocodile. Just to one, two condo. Stop, stop, stop. And I just. Fantastic. We're boxers. We're challenging Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna actually train our kangaroo so we can fight Jake Paul. Yeah, we need to. This is where these pythons have a much bigger exhibit than in the yeah. ocean park. Yeah, the ocean park it just had a little box. And he still just lays in the corner. That's why he had a small one. Yeah, with the upper hand. Oh, oh watch out! Oh. We were just talking trash about this guy. Yeah, yeah. you ready for this? 2007 called, he wants his hair cut back. Oh, oh, oh. Right? You just made him feel bad. I'm sorry. You should sorry. apologize to I'm him. Sorry, dude. You're pretty cool. What's your name, sir? Oh, nice to meet you, dude. He doesn't want to talk to you. Uh, we're in the monkey house now. Monkey house! We're little, little rascals. <laughs> There's an epic jungle gym thing. That would have been so fun. <gasps> There's a big rat in there. Oh my gosh, that thing's massive. Come out again, you little cracker. I didn't get it. Oh, there's another one. Those things are like so long. They're not as thick as the India rat, but they're way longer. Dang, I don't think I got them on cam. This is a sick thing. I don't know what it is, but it's sick. I think you're supposed to be like, Wee. Wee. No, where is King Julian? King Julian! I am King Julian. He's not here. There's no King Julian. I don't like to move it, move it. Philippine long to they better have some Philippines monkeys in here. Oh, yep, there they are. Where the heck are these characters? Well, we've pretty much seen the entire zoo, so we're getting some fruit shakes. Right before our dinner later. I got a mango banana. Fantastic. Nice and refreshing. You it's the it. spot. It does. We're, we're starting to get a little hot too, so this will be a nice cool down. My throat is very dry. I've had a can of Mountain Dew and a water all day. This is nice and smooth too, so really. And I love mango. I haven't had a mango flavored thing actually in a while. Really? <laughs> I'm repping the Four Seasons Autumn. Four Seasons? I didn't know they actually had the seasons for flavors. Usually the place just says Four Seasons. So this one's Autumn, which is some fruits. There's like watermelon and orange and mango and something in there. I don't know. I don't and it's like the smoothie, right? Yep. I think we've got this place before. I don't remember when. Ooh, that's good. There's a lot of flavors in there. Surprisingly, wouldn't expect this. Guess out of the fruits I said, which one comes through the most? My guess would be orange. It's watermelon. Weird. I Watermelon's usually a mild flavor, but I guess it has. It's one of the fruits with like the most sugar. I think. When you get a good watermelon, it is top fruit. Yeah, that's what I taste. You think orange is strong. Orange is always strong, yep, but yeah. watermelon's winning. That's good, though. This is a fragging good shake. It's not... Why is this... Uh, why is my watermelon shake... Um, it's not... Uh, orange, not red? Yeah, what the frack? Demand a refund. That's a reference to a frack and tourist in Boracay who uh, literally was upset with the color of his shake and tried to refund it after he drank it. Yeah. This is a nice little refreshment. And that was pretty much the Manila Zoo, everybody. It's definitely nice. I forgot I didn't have the mic. I was just starting to talk oh, yeah. to no one. <laughs> it's definitely very nice. It's smaller than I expected. It's pretty yeah. actually small, but there's a lot to see. A good amount to do too. They really made it look nice. Like I like the way all the exhibits look. And I, I'm assuming this is all the re uh, renovations and stuff. Like this part, super nice. I like the whole vibe they got. It's just a nice cozy feeling. It feels like you're in the wild. Certain parts of it do look very new. Some yeah, parts, yeah. randomly, like, weren't the nicest, but... <laughs> They're just like, some parts are just empty. Yeah. And now, to end this video, we will journey right into this and die. Oh! Oh, 
wow, that gets you wet yeah. quick. 